Good morning everyone. Hope I find you well on this beautiful summer's day. I thought I'd uh, continue my tour of uh, St Mary's Eversley and show you a different background today. So hopefully you can see, oh I'm going the wrong way, hopefully you can see the organ a bit behind me. And it doesn't mean that I'm on a less comfortable pew but there we go, the sacrifices I make so you can see the organ. Amazing. Well, shall we start by getting ourselves ready to meet with God, to come into his presence today. Morning, do come in. So we're just going to get, get ourselves comfortable have a little wriggle and a relax. I'm doing, I'm, I've decided to sit here this morning, yes. Yeah. So if you want to gather around here, Olive, that'd be lovely. Here. Sit where you like, yeah, as long as you're not next to either of us, you're fine. <laughs> So we're, um, we're just gathering here and uh, as you gather at home or wherever you are watching this. So have a little wriggle and a little shake out of those stresses and strains of this morning. Let's just relax and uh, breathe deeply. And then slowly blow out that air. So breathing in God's blessings and then we're going to breathe them out onto all the people and places we're at today. So just slow our breathing down as we come into almighty God's presence as we sit at his feet to worship him. Lord, open our lips to bless you and our mouths shall declare your praise. Blessed are you, gracious God. We will give you glory and praise forever. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This I call to mind and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will put my hope in him. So we're going to spend a time of quiet now while we invite God into those places and situations and lives 
that we know are in need of his hope. So let's just spend a moment doing that. Almighty God, in view of your great mercy, we lay our lives down as a morning sacrifice for you. Choosing to die to self, we ask you to pour your mighty resurrection power through us, that Jesus may be revealed and your kingdom come in power, changing us and redeeming the world. Amen. Now this morning, if you might have seen on the notes, if you're watching um, on Facebook, we're looking at Psalm 23. Psalm 23, which is a, I'm fairly confident in saying, is probably the best known psalm in the Bible. And also probably some of the best known quotes from the whole of the Bible because we hear it quite a lot. It's, I've heard it sung at many funerals. I've heard it sung at many church services, and now with various versions as well, especially when the Vicar of Dibley became very popular, and that version then became popular, and I remember singing it at many weddings. So it's a really well-known psalm. So let's see what we can hear God speaking to us today from it. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. He lets me lie down in fields of green grass. He leads me beside quiet waters. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths for the honour of his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. You are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a feast for me right in front of my enemies. You pour oil on my head. My cup runs over. I am sure that your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. No, sorry for the unusual version. It's because I had a different version last night. <coughs> Excuse me. When I was um, leading some teaching of the Causeway group, and I haven't put it back. Let's have a look. Okay. I'll put it back to the NIV version. So, God leads us. It says, and guides us. And it's quite like we've just said in the previous bit of liturgy that um, we lay our lives down as a morning sacrifice for you. We're saying we're prepared to give you everything. We're prepared to be led by you, to be guided by you along the right paths led to the quiet waters and that you will be with us. Now this reminds me of something that's really helped me recently, um, an illustration that's helped me with all the changes that we've had to cope with. So this illustration is, imagine that you are going on holiday and you've booked to go to Rome. So for the last six months, you've been learning Italian. You're now 
all packed, suitcases are ready, you've got your guidebook to roam, you're really looking forward to seeing the Colosseum and all the artwork and the statues and having a real Italian pizza. And then you get to the airport and wind your way through the terminal. Finally, you're on the plane and it's taken off. And then the captain comes over the speaker and says, unfortunately, we can't go to Rome but we are going to Amsterdam. So a short while later, you arrive in Amsterdam. Now, how are you going to react? Are you going to spend your holiday being miserable because you're not in Rome? Are you going to spend your time complaining to the holiday rep? Or are you going to put your head up and look around? and think, oh, we could hire some bikes. Best place for cycling, Amsterdam. We could view the city that way. Lots and lots of canals. We could go on some great boat trips. Fantastic art galleries in Amsterdam. We could do that instead. And you enjoy yourself so much in Amsterdam that you forget that you're missing Rome. So how's this helping me? Well, it's very easy with all the various lockdowns and restrictions, etc., to yearn for what we're missing. Or when, and keep saying and thinking, oh, when am I going to have this? When can we do that again? Instead, Let's remember that we have put ourselves in God's hands. We trust him to lead us. We've never really known what tomorrow is going to bring. And yes, I don't deny that there are things that we miss, especially the contact with people. But let's put our heads up and see the good things that are around us at the moment and try and enjoy Amsterdam. So that's, that's how it's been helping me and um, maybe that's helping you too, that you can uh, think how you can enjoy what the circumstances are, what's God given us today, what blessings are around us to enjoy Let's try and look forward, trusting in him. So let's turn to our prayer time. Father God, we pray for the world's oceans. We recognise that we have neglected and polluted them, ignoring their fundamental importance to our well-being. Help us to reverse the damage we have done and work for cleaner and safer oceans. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for the work of the Melanesian Brotherhood in the Solomon Islands, Papua, Papua New Guinea and Polynesia. We pray that their commitment to peace and justice will be an inspiration to Christians across the world. We thank you, Lord, for their work, their commitment their love for each other. And we pray, Lord, that we can do likewise in our communities. Amen.
Father God, we pray that you will be with our brothers and sisters in Turkmenistan today, where registered churches are so few that most Christians break the law when they gather for worship, even in their homes, and Bibles are hardly ever allowed to come into the country. We praise and thank you for the great joy of the Christians there, for their burning desire for your word and their deep longing to grow in faith. We ask you, Lord, to comfort those who have been rejected by their family or lost their job because they decided to follow you and guide them by your Holy Spirit. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray for all those who work for the Mission Aviation Fellowship. We thank you for their love and commitment and pray for their protection and wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for the great example they give to others, treating all equally, having no barriers as to who they will help. We ask you to be with them as they go about their work in the most rural and sometimes dangerous areas of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we pray for our brothers and sisters in Russia. We pray, Lord, that they will be filled with your grace and peace, that they will respond to restrictions placed on them in a way that is pleasing to you, that they will exhibit all the parts of the fruit of the Spirit and that will be seen in the way they act and in the things that they say. Lord, we ask you to protect them as they follow you. We ask you to help them grow in their faith and be brave in their mission. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, we pray for all those who are tempted into the water in this hot weather. We pray that children will be kept a close eye on. We, prep, we pray, Lord, that people will be aware of the differences of cold water swimming and playing compared to hot swimming pools. We pray, Lord, for protection as people go about and enjoy playing in rivers and the sea and the pools. We pray for no more tragedies. And we ask, Lord, for your comfort and peace on the families of those who have lost loved ones already this summer because of the dangers of the water and the lack of respect shown to it. We pray this in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Father, we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Myanmar. We pray for Bishop Stephen and Dr. Paul and the Theological College. We pray for their leadership, that you would imbue them with much wisdom 
and strength and courage during this time of the coup. We pray for peace in that country and in the hearts of the military. And we pray, Lord, for those working behind the scenes, the peacemakers, that they will have wise words. They will have courage and protection from you too as they try to find solutions to this problem. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we pray for <coughs> our churches, our leaders, our people, and the communities that we live amongst and go out into. Pray, Lord, that we will have our ear open to you so that we can be truly guided by you to do your will, to be your people, to be your people out in the community. That we will be listening to the community, Lord, to hear where you've already started work and that we need to lend a hand, where we need to shine your light Give us grace, Lord, to be generous disciples. Generous with our time, with our love, with our money, with our possessions. Help us, Lord, to show that spirit of generosity that you've shown to us when you came to earth and gave your life for us. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we pray for all those suffering a crisis today. Pray for them and their families, their carers and friends. Lord, may they know your presence with them. May they hold tightly to your hand through this crisis. May you hold tightly to them as you shelter them under your wing and bring them comfort and direction, healing, love, hope, and the peace that only you can bring. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Now we finish our time of prayer by saying together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O High King of heaven, have mercy on our land. Revive your church. Send the Holy Spirit for the sake of the lost, the least and the broken. May your kingdom come to our nation. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. So let us share the grace with one another. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you so much for joining with us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you have a blessed day, even if you end up in Amsterdam. Take care. See you soon.